We have Amanda Lantry from the Joe Schmo Show, which is actually kind of hard to say. It is hard to say, and it's add on like the full bounty after because it's been the third season, so it makes it a, quite the tongue tire. So you did good with the accent. <laughs> now, the Joe Schmo Show, there's only one guy who doesn't know that it's a. No, ex <laughs> explain you got, it. You, okay, so pretty much we base it around that there's. Uh, 10 or 11, 12 actors. I was the co-host along with Ralph Garman, and he was the original host. But the um, the show's based around there's 10 actors living in a house, and one of the guys is not an actor. So the whole show, we everyone knows that it's fake, but him. So we pretty much play a joke on this poor guy, test his integrity, his, his well-being, his marriage, and yeah, there you go, it's fun. It's like the Truman Show in real life. Yeah, exactly. Totally. I wish we could have got Jim Carrey. Jim, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, what do you do, Jim? You know, in your spare time? It's a great idea. Third season, is there, is there going to be a fourth? We hope so. I mean, we can only do it so much, so you never know. Do the, does the actors know it's the Joe Schmo Show? They don't know. You know what? We don't know during the casting, obviously, but once we find out, it's top secret. We sign confidentiality waivers and NDAs, so... That's it, yeah. Wow. Well, have fun tonight, enjoy, and we'll see you the next one, hopefully. Thank you. So nice to Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Chelsea and Joe from the Joe Schmo Show. You know, this show that we did isn't necessarily reality, so we're super stoked to be here. Yeah, it's like a fine line category for you guys. Yes. It's kind of a reality spoof, so we're, it's very... So, it was very real for one person. Yes. Who isn't here? He's in therapy now. No, he's, he's doing great. We don't even that worry That was my one question at the audition, is, is there a therapist at the end to walk this gentleman through what he's experienced? And the answer was yes. <laughs> so you did that, you care? Yeah. You were the one person who came. person. And he's an, he's an amazing guy. For anyone who saw the show, Chase Rogan was our Joe Schmo, and he is an incredible human being, and he made the show fantastic. But really, Megan was the only one I that was cared. the only person who cared. Yeah. In your downtime, did you all go, oh my God, what are we doing to this poor guy? Yes, we did. We absolutely did. And he was so ridiculously intelligent that from the first time we met him, we thought, this isn't going to work. <laughs> he's going to pick up on this. Did you have moments where you were struggling to keep a straight face? Joe, why don't you? I played a deaf girl. You did not. Dun, dun, dun. But I can hear, so that was an issue. And once or twice. She did hear something when she wasn't supposed to, and she might have reacted on camera. <laughs> That's actually really hilarious. I. We also have a cast of extremely funny people. Uh, people who are here tonight, Lombardo Boyard, Nikki McKenzie, and Megan Falcone who just joined us. So we have a bunch of funny people together trying to pull off a long con like this. It's almost impossible to keep a straight face, and we were very lucky we got through it. We did it. You guys could work for the CIA. We could. We really could. I do. And I'm now I have to kill you. <laughs> I would be the only person who cared. It's important to note, though, that Jeff is a deaf member of the CIA. Joe. Joe is a deaf member of the CIA. Yeah. All confused now. Oh, well, they're all moving on because they've got a party. So, a good time to die. Vodka. But thank you for having us on your show. And you look beautiful. And I love you. Thank you. That's so wrong. It's the Joe Smo show. It's very wrong. <laughs>